Hi, I'm Kate Roddenbush, and I'm crazy enough to make a 40 foot tall Burning Man sculpture this year called Star Seed. It's a little terrifying because we're running out of time. We have a really generous grant from Burning Man plus donations from other amazing supporters. Are you surprised? We need some extra funding from our amazing community. So um, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the sculpture so that hopefully you will believe in what we and my amazing team of friends are creating. It's called Star Seed. On a grand scale, it's about how Burning Man has developed as a community with its roots rising out of the desert and about the phenomenal growth of its culture that has seemed to pollinate the world. Though on another level of metaphor, Starseed is about the evolution of spirits, starting in earthbound awareness and evolving into higher evolution of consciousness. It seems to me that in our communities, there are so many people now in a state of personal transformation in their lives that I felt inspired to create a sculptural space that honors this transition into a higher version of oneself. Over nine years, I've had the great pleasure of making a lot of Burning Man art. Um, the first one, Observer Observed, was in 2004. The next one, Stadium of the Self, Dual Nature, Guardian of Eden, Altered State, Futures Past. Raindrop was evolution. Everything comes from water. And I'm actually sitting inside it right now. <laughs> I'm sitting inside the, the bottom of the drop in my studio here in New York City. And there's this one called Astral Matrix, and I made it with the most amazing creative people in South Korea uh, just a few months ago. Annyeonghaseyo! <laughs> I, that was an amazing experience and kind of led to the birth of this next sculpture called uh, Starseed. And uh, I'm a bit of a geometry geek, and this, I, it was, it's very much a meditation on um, the sacred geometric symbol of three interlocking circles, which is actually this right here, um, and uh, how it's, the circle is life, and then cell division in, into two is the first step of the beginnings of life, of any life, of a baby, uh, of a plant, of anything. And I wanted to, to create something that was about that, about the seed of the life force. I wanted it to be enormous, <laughs> and I wanted it to be able to hold us and be in the 40 feet in the air, and I wanted to be climbable, and I wanted to be a transcendent space where you would kind of travel up from the roots of your earthly existence. You know, your three-dimensional, otherworldly space, uh, 20 feet above the playa, and be surrounded by this bower of these galactic-looking leaves, and sit around this geometric fire in the center of a space where you and, you know, 12 of your closest friends could hang out and just connect. because. That is what Burning Man is about. It's not really a place where it has any cell service or any sort of modern communication. It, it is really about connecting with the people that are the craziest, most <laughs> amazingly inventive uh, people that I've ever met in my life, and I'm so inspired by it. And when I make sculpture, I, I think about those people and my dearest friends, when the going gets tough, I imagine you guys in the sculpture that I'm going to make <laughs> with your help. I imagine you guys having an amazing experience and that's what kind of pulls me through. So if you could believe that you, <laughs> that, oh God, if you could believe that in, in this sculpture and want to be in that space with your friends and if you want to see this thing happen I would be overjoyed if you could donate to this project and see it through to the end we have an, um, lots of funding so far but we just need that last push to pay for the transportation and pay for paint and electrical things and stuff like that we're looking for 15,000 and I know it's a lot, but like every little bit helps. So we have a lot of great swag stuff we all get. Oh, 
check out the website and most of all thank you I mean I don't make this stuff alone I make this with my best friends <laughs> and I make it with you in mind and I hope that I get to see you guys up there and we get to share a sunrise or a sunset overlooking my favorite city in the whole world <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs>